All right, everyone, in this lesson, I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises to improve your lower notes on the instrument. So you should know how to play D major going down to the low D at this point. If you don't, just click the link below and it'll take you to that video. But now I'm gonna show you how to improve those lower notes while you're going down to that low D. So the technique I'm gonna show you is very similar to how you play your higher notes. And again, I have another link to that video in the description where I show you how to improve your higher notes on the instrument. So this is a similar technique, but this is going down into the lower range of the instrument. In addition to this exercise, I'm gonna show you a couple of other techniques that will help you get those lower notes out. So first I'm gonna play you what notes we're gonna focus on in this lesson. So we're gonna start on G, which is those three fingers in the left hand, and we're gonna move down to D. So we're gonna start on G, F sharp, which is three fingers in the left hand and the middle finger in the right hand. E, which is again three fingers in the left hand, two fingers in the right hand. And then finally D, which is all the fingers down, three in the left, three in the right. So at this point, hopefully you're able to get G, no problem. So as you're going down from G, you might have a couple of problems. Like it might go up the octave like this. So that's one common problem. Another common problem is that you end up going high and then back down to the lower notes like this. So that's another common problem where you're kind of going in between the octaves. So the first thing you want to be doing is tonguing every note as you're going down the instrument. And if you're not sure exactly about the correct way to tongue, I have a video in the description of this video. Now there is a tonguing technique that will help as you go down into the lower register of the instrument. The first thing is that we're actually going to tongue a little further in on our tongue. So normally we're tonguing right near the tip, about here. Now, as we go lower on the instrument, we want to actually move the reed a little further in on the tongue. So instead of here, we're moving a little further in, so to here. So that's going to help you get your lower notes out easier. You're going to move your reed further in on your tongue. So I'm gonna show you a couple of exercises now to help you improve these lower notes and I want you to think about going further in on your tongue as you get lower on the instrument. So we're gonna start on G, those three fingers in the left hand, and we're just gonna play that note by itself. So at this point you're just playing with a normal tonguing technique. Now we're going to move on to the second part of the exercise where we go from G down to F sharp and then back up to G. Make sure to tongue all the notes. So that's the first approach that we're going to take. This might be easy for some people, this might be difficult for some people, but this is the first thing you want to do when you're starting to go lower down the instrument. You want to make sure you're building your confidence going from G to F sharp and back to G. And you want to have that consistent tone, you want to make sure you're taking enough breath, you want to make sure your embouchure is correct, and you want to make sure you're tonguing correctly on each note. So just get used to playing this. Now we're going to move on to the next exercise where we just go from G down to F sharp. So now we're just tonguing G and F sharp and holding F sharp for as long as we can. So if this is proving difficult, then just work on this exercise before going any further. You want to make sure that you're building your confidence with these notes before you go any lower in the instrument. The lower you go, the harder it's going to get. So you want to make sure you're doing everything right just with these two notes, G to F sharp, and making sure that the tone sounds good. This is going to help when you want to move further down the instrument. So let's say G to F sharp is sounding good, 
F sharp is clean and clear. Now we can move on to just playing F sharp by itself. So basically now we're playing a long tone on F sharp. Now my rule of thumb is always to be able to do something at least three times in a row perfectly before you move on. So make sure that you're able to play this F sharp as a long tone perfectly three times in a row before we move on to now trying to play E. If that's the case, let's move on to the next part of the exercise where we go from F sharp down to E, then back up to F sharp. So again, if this is difficult, don't worry about it. Just keep focusing on getting that F sharp consistently. If you can keep getting that perfectly, this is gonna be a much easier exercise to do. So we're basically training ourselves to get lower down the instrument bit by bit. So again, if you're having trouble with F sharp to E, just stick with F sharp, play long tones on F sharp, make sure you're getting comfortable, make sure you're getting consistent with that. If you're able to get F sharp to E back to F sharp, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So now we're gonna go F sharp down to E and hold E for as long as we can. So now we're gonna start tonguing a little further in on our tongue when we play E. Okay, we're not fully at the tip anymore. We're going a little further in on our tongue. So keep that in mind as you're doing this. Let's try it again. So once we're getting comfortable with F sharp to E, we can work on just playing E by itself, like this. So again, we're going a little further in on our tongue to get this note. If you're having difficulty with this, if you're still kind of going up the octave or it's cracking or you're getting those kind of wobbles, just go back to the previous exercise of F sharp to E. If you're still getting problems with that, go back to F sharp to E, back to F sharp. This is how you train yourself to get these lower notes. You've got to take your time and go step by step. So let's say we're able to play E perfectly. We're able to get it consistently. We've done it three times in a row. Now we can move on to going from E to D, then back up to E. <laughs> Okay, so now we're definitely putting the reed a little further in on our tongue, but we're also getting a much bigger breath. Getting these low notes requires much stronger diaphragmatic support. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to breathe correctly, there's a link in the description for that too. And that takes you through how to breathe, how to get the support that you need, especially for these low notes. So make sure you're getting a much deeper breath and getting that diaphragmatic support when you're playing this exercise. Now we're gonna go from E down to D and hold D for as long as we can. Okay, so now we're just going from E to D. Make sure to get this consistently a few times before we move on to the final exercise of just playing a D by itself. Okay, so that's the final goal, is to be able to play that D consistently again and again, just by tonguing it correctly with your reed a little further in on your tongue and getting the breath support you need to get a good tone. So this stuff takes a long time to work on, especially if you're a beginner. So you've gotta be patient, you've gotta take your time, and you've gotta take it slow. There's also other exercises that you can use that will help you with this and they are just the mouthpiece and crook exercises. And I have another link to that in the description of this video that takes you through how to practice with just your neck and mouthpiece. Those exercises are also gonna help when it comes to playing these low notes. If you're looking for more exercises and more ways to learn how to play these lower notes, I do have more exercises inside Sax Masters Academy, which again is completely free to join. Just go to saxophonemasterclass.com forward slash join and you can get full access to that today. Once you've learned these exercises, once you've learned to scale and get comfortable with it, there are songs that I can show you in the same key so that you can use what you've learned to play new songs on the saxophone, especially in this lower register. 
In the meantime, I'm putting out videos every single Friday on YouTube, so please subscribe, like this video if you found it helpful, and make sure to comment below if there's anything else you want me to cover or if you have any questions. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Thank you.